Hi everyone. Welcome to our English shadowing practice video. Today, we're going to practice a conversation about hobbies. Before we dive in, we want to hear from you. In the comments below, let us know about your hobbies and interests. Now, let's get started with our conversation practice. Hi there. I'm Alex. What's your name? Hi Alex, I'm Sarah. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Sarah. Today, let's dive into a fun topic. How about we discuss our hobbies and interests? Sounds great. I'd love to hear about what you enjoy doing in your free time. What are some of your hobbies, Alex? I enjoy hiking and photography. I find both activities really relaxing and a great way to connect with nature. One of my favorite hiking trips was to a beautiful mountain trail where I took some amazing sunrise photos. How about you, Sarah? What hobbies do you have? I love painting and playing the piano. Painting helps me express my creativity, and playing the piano is a wonderful way to unwind after a long day. Recently, I completed a painting of a serene beach scene that I'm really proud of. That sounds wonderful. How often do you get to paint or play the piano? I try to paint at least once a week and I play the piano almost every day. It's a part of my routine that I look forward to. What about you? How often do you go hiking or take photos? I usually go hiking on the weekends and take photos whenever I find something interesting. I've recently started learning more about digital photography techniques. Have you picked up any new skills lately? Yes, I've recently started learning how to cook different cuisines. It's been a lot of fun experimenting with new recipes and flavors. I made a delicious Italian pasta dish last week. Have you tried learning something new recently? I've been trying my hand at gardening. It's a bit challenging, but very rewarding to see the plants grow. How do you find time for your hobbies? I usually set aside specific times during the week to make sure I can focus on my hobbies. It helps me balance my work and leisure time. Do you have a special schedule for your hobbies? I do. I like to plan my hikes in advance and keep my weekends free for photography. It ensures I always have something to look forward to. What's the most enjoyable part of your hobbies? For me, it's the sense of accomplishment and the joy of creating something beautiful. Whether it's a painting or a piece of music, it feels very rewarding. How about you? The best part for me is the peace and relaxation I get from being outdoors and capturing beautiful moments. It's a great way to escape from daily stress. Do you ever share your hobbies with friends or family? Yes, sometimes. I invite friends over for a painting session or we play music together. It's a great way to bond and share our passions. Do you know anyone with an unusual hobby? Actually, yes. My cousin has this unique hobby of collecting antique typewriters. It's fascinating how much effort and passion he puts into finding and restoring them. Have you ever met someone with a really unusual hobby? 
Yes, a colleague of mine is really into competitive yo-yoing. It's surprising how much skill and dedication it requires. She even competes in national tournaments. It's amazing how diverse and interesting people's hobbies can be. Speaking of unusual hobbies, I've got a rather quirky one myself. I collect vintage postcards from different cities. It's a bit unconventional, but I find it interesting to learn about the history and stories behind each one. Do you have any weird or lesser-known hobbies? Actually, I do. I practice the art of soap carving. It's a bit of a niche hobby, but I find it relaxing and quite creative. Plus, it's a great way to make unique gifts for friends and family. That's really cool. It's amazing how hobbies can vary so much from person to person. It's always fun to hear about these unique interests. Do you think your hobbies have taught you any valuable lessons? Definitely. Painting has taught me patience and attention to detail, while playing the piano has improved my discipline and focus. What about you? Hiking has taught me perseverance and appreciation for nature, and photography has sharpened my observation skills. It's amazing how hobbies can enrich our lives in so many ways. So, that is the end of our discussion about hobbies. It was wonderful sharing our hobbies, Sarah. I always feel inspired talking about our passions. Same here, Alex. It's been great discussing such a wide range of interests and learning about each other's unique hobbies. Thank you for practicing with us today. We hope you found this exercise helpful. Don't forget to leave a comment about your own hobbies and interests. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more English practice videos. See you next time. Bye for now.